I had the privilege of working with some of our electoral officials, some of our community leaders, and our today's guest is, uh, we will introduce her later, is someone that I have really uh, a great respect, uh, the type of work and community advocacy uh, that she stood so, for so many causes that affects our community. Um, I wanted to take a moment to thank, uh, I see a number of faces, uh, community elders, uh, the traditional elders, uh, chiefs, um, and uh, the business community. I know this is a small group under the circumstances of the weekend on a Friday evening, uh, but I want to also take a moment to thank our host, the um, a New American Political Action Committee for organizing this event, especially our brother Mahmoud Jama, who uh, organized this uh, last minute. I know uh, Nancy has been busy um, engaging so many different parts of the community. Um, Nancy have to leave shortly. Uh, in the interest of time, we will not have a long program. We will um, have a couple of speakers, uh, and, and then we will have an opportunity to hear from Nancy. Uh, with that, I wanted to start with our host first, uh, Mr. Mahmoud Jama, to say a few words. Um, thank you, Abdi. Um, I want to thank you all um, for um, attending here, um, accepting and responding to the request from um, our organization and myself and I want to also thank um, Abdi has gave me all the credit for organizing this event, but it is more more than myself. There has been uh, a team that has um, organized this event and helped it and been the machine that put together this and reached out to all of you. It was not only for me, but I was one of them. Um, these members that I want to mention, some of them here, um, to name a few, and I want you to forgive me if I forget or I do not mention your name, but Noor Dubo, who is sitting right there, Abdi Aiden, um, Adam Abdurrahman, Ma'al Adam, people know him as Ma'al Adam, um, Omar Samatar, and a few other folks that I might not, mind, I do not see their faces, but um, they they know that. So <clears throat> the event is organized and hosted by the New American Political Action Committee team. Um, New American PAC or New American Political Action Committee has been around since 2015 and has done a great work um, in central Ohio and helping and supporting um, new uh, candidates that we feel they will be great and help and friendly with our community and um, you know work on our issues. So um, and we will continue doing that as a, as a new American pack. And myself, uh, many of you know me, and I have been in, in this business for a long time. I'm a member of Franklin County Democratic uh, County um, Executive Committee. Um, I have done a ton of work uh, in the field helping elect great leaders into the state of Ohio, uh, city of Ohio, uh, Franklin County. And I have done, um, that has been done and started um, as a means of uh, need for the community. I wasn't one day just come out and become a bridge for our community and the elected officials. I started from the bottom. I, I, I was working in the field, helping someone with something, some issue coming up with our community. There's a problem facing our community. The time taught me. So I had to reach out, find a solution, help, get to know people. Um, address the issues that face our community. And, and I will continue doing that. At some point, um, I took a break for a while, and now I have seen there is a great need in our community to 
come back, even though I have responsibility as a, as a family, as a dad, as a father, as an employee, for as a, you know, I do a lot of things. But I have seen the necessity to come back in this field and do what, I, what I'm good at doing. Um, I want to represent our community and continue building relationships. And you know, you all tasked me and uh, requested me and encouraged me. And many of you have said, where have you been, Muhammad? We haven't seen you doing anything for our community. What happened? Uh, you, run for some, you run some time for office, you didn't get in. Are you scared? Are you mad at the world? No, I'm not. I was focusing, uh, taking a break, but now I am back and I'm reviving all the activities and um, work that I used to do for our community. And the main thing and the number one thing that I will continue and, and I'm working on and I need all of your help is to bring everybody in this town. All Somalis, we cannot have division within our, in ourselves. I want to bring everybody together. I want to sit down with everybody, regardless of where he came from, where his mama was born in Somalia. I don't care. I'll bring people both, the bill together. Now, um, the reason we came here together, the reason we came here together today um, is we have an honorable guest, uh, one of our um, candidates for the city council, uh, endorsed candidate, actually, a friend, uh, colleague, Nancy Day Aquar. Um, she's running for the city of Columbus, and we, all of you know, know and contributed or came here for that support. We're doing a, a fundraiser contribution for, for her campaign, and we were able, uh, we had a goal at, uh, to raise her about $5,000, and we are making our goal or beyond. And I will uh, thank you all, um, and I'm sorry, we had a plan to have you all as a traditional to come here, like Abdi mentioned, come here and say a few words and, you know, uh, congratulate and thank and, and welcome and host you like you used to do. But the time is not allowing us today. So if you are not call here and you do not say a few words, uh, we appreciate you came here and we have that from you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jama. Uh, Mr. Jama is also an engineer by trade and he's a business owner. As a matter of fact, runs this same very establishment that we are in, and we appreciate his hospitality. Uh, before I turn over to Nancy, I would like to call uh, one more community leader who I have worked very closely over the years. Uh, she's a mother, uh, she's an educator, she's a public servant. She is someone who is, um, I have been a couple of events where folks um, uh, you know, gave her so many, uh, you know, acknowledgement and recognition so deservingly uh, because uh, with all that, she is also just concluding her PhD. So uh, help me welcome Dr. Uh, Mariam Duale. My name is Mariam Duale, as you all heard of, and um, it's about time honestly that we had some interactions with our uh, future leaders and also current leaders and I'm excited that we have the opportunity to meet and support Nancy uh, for the city of Columbus. Uh, I wish her all the success. Uh, we would like more intimate setting where we can talk about issues. We don't want to just elect the people to elect the people. We want to make sure that we elect the people that advocate for us and uh, put our agenda on forefront. Uh, personally, I work, as Abdi said, uh, I work in social services and I've been working in the area of uh, youth violence and mental health. And so, and you're running for the west side uh, of Columbus, so I hope you get to get the position and I hope you will roll your sleeves up and work with us in making a difference in our community, all of Ohioans and particularly the immigrant community, and more so for the Somali community. Welcome and uh, thank you for being with us. Well, without, without further ado, um, you heard about her. Uh, ladies and gentlemen from the Somali community, please meet with Nancy Day O'Connor. Day O'Connor. I always messed up. Uh, Nancy, please meet with the Somali community. Thank you.
First name Nancy. I am a day, and I married an Ock Hour. My husband's Jeff Ock Hour. Day Ock Hour. Think awkward. <laughs> so day Ock Hour. Um, like so many people in Columbus, I am not from Columbus. I chose Columbus. I moved to Central Ohio in 2005 to earn my master's degree. I have a Master of Divinity from the Methodist Theological School in Ohio. I am a pastor by trade. I have been living on the west side of Columbus since 2012. But I haven't just been living in Columbus, I have been serving in Columbus on the greater west side. My ministry has always been community focused, listening to the community, hearing what they identify as being their needs, and then collaborating with community stakeholders and other organizations to address the actual issue. Advocacy is important, we all need lots of advocates, but we need people who actually are boots on the ground in the community getting stuff done. A few examples of the work that I have done. On the far west side, west of 270, a lot of people identified food insecurity as a problem. Mid-Ohio Food Collective didn't believe us that there was food insecurity outside of the urban core. We got together a bunch of community leaders, Doctors Hospital sponsored us, and I organized a year-round produce distribution in that community once a month, which was very rare. Most produce distributions are just in the spring and summer. And we provided free produce for a lot of senior citizens and families in that community. The need was so great that the line went down the block. We operated this for six and a half years during the pandemic. We were out on the parking lot of the fire department because they didn't want us indoors because we had so many people. It was 28 degrees and we were out there providing fresh produce to the greater west side. The line wrapped around the block. We had to bring in the sheriff's office to provide traffic control. We were the only people providing free food west of 270. Thankfully, after six and a half years of service, Mid-Ohio Food Collective said, wow, you're right, there really is food insecurity in the suburban area. So they opened a free fresh market, which is a free grocery store, a few blocks up from where we were doing our dis produce distribution. So we were so thankful to be put out of business by a better business model that gives people the dignity of being able to shop for their produce instead of being just handed their produce. Another issue identified on the west side of its being a problem was homelessness. I'm sure we can all agree that that's a huge problem in Columbus and particularly on the west side. I worked with a group of people on the steering committee that opened Jordan's Crossing Resource Center, a faith-based program that um, provides resources to not just the homeless, but also any people who are in need. They also get people into drug rehab, residential rehab, and then they met, when people are completed with that, they mentor people into living into their sobriety. Uh, it's a, we were a ragtag group. We didn't have any government funding. We opened that up entirely with volunteers and all donations. It's an amazing group. Um, so if you have, if you're on the west side and you have people who are in need, send them to Jordan's Crossing. It's on, um, it's on North Hag by the railroad tracks. Another issue that was raised up by the community is we have a lot of older adults who were finding it challenging to stay at home, but they really wanted to live at home. And so I partnered with Fran Ryan and the Columbus and Franklin County Age Friendly Program to launch a program called Villain the Hill, which provides services for older adults to help them age in place successfully in their home to get the things done in the house that, so that they'll be able to navigate stairs, all the other things that um, address mobility issues, bringing people together for social interaction so that people as they, as they age can have the dignity of staying in their home. 
I have also worked with the Columbus and Franklin County Addiction Plan, educating community groups about addiction, how to recognize it in your friends, family, and coworkers, how to get people into treatment. I, did, I was doing community programs by gathering people together in churches and mosques and synagogues all over central Ohio. Then that pesky pandemic arrived and kind of put me out of business on that one. But all my work has been based upon hearing from the community what they identify as being their needs and then bringing people together to create solutions. And during all this work, I did advocate a lot with Columbus City Council, um, trying to get them to pay attention to our marginalized communities, to those areas that need a lot more help. And over time, I just felt that I would be more successful at doing more good for more people if I were to serve on Columbus City Council instead of just being a pastor on the west side where I'm not able to get access to the resources or to bring the things to the community that is needed. And so that's why I stepped up to run. I have been a public servant my whole life, but now I'm seeking the position as an elected official to be a public servant. Columbus is in a place right now where we're in a turning point. We know that we have a lot of people that are going to be coming. We're going to have a tsunami of people moving here when Intel and all that opens up. We could be the community where people want to come here and stay here because they could find an affordable place to live, one job that supports a family, communities that are safe and thriving. But we're not there yet in Columbus, and we all know that. We need people who will get down into the, you know, into the trenches and do the work to help create the community that we all want and that every resident deserves. That's the kind of work that I want to do. I have always been focused on getting things done, not just talking about it. And so that's why I'm running for Columbus City Council, so I can get things done for more people throughout the city. Running for office, though, is a lot of work, and it does take money, and that is why Mohammed graciously offered to have this fundraiser for me. Um, I'm, I'm filming a TV commercial, and I've got to buy my share of time. <laughs> and then you all can be tired <laughs> of seeing me on TV. <laughs> so. So I thank you all so much for your support. I've had some great conversations with people so far this evening, particularly about development. I served on the Western Area Commission for eight years, and so I've had a lot of experience in um, seeing how cumbersome our development is in Columbus, talking to small business owners that the challenges that they are facing. And so I look forward to having conversations with all the people throughout the community to find out specifically where, what, where, are the, where are the hiccups, where are the struggles, where can the city be of more help, and then trying to create a better way of doing business in Columbus so that it doesn't take so darn long to get anything done. <laughs> so thank you all so much for coming. Um, I, we have time to take a few questions. If anybody has some questions. Since we know last couple of years, the call is getting high crimes and also drugs and gun violence went up. And what is your position if you get elected into that case? Uh, and how do you think you will be uh, controlling the violence or how we can reduce? Public safety is a huge problem in Columbus, but also in every major city in the United States. Um, we do have one, first of all, the problem of we just have too darn many guns in the hands of people who have no business owning guns. Unfortunately, our Ohio State legislator has had a lot to do, has had everything to do with that. <coughs> Excuse me. There are a variety of reasons why we have violence in Columbus. The bulk of the violence that occurs is involves young males between the ages of 14 and 25. So a real important thing for us to all be doing is to start 
working with youth at younger ages to get them on the right paths so that they can become thriving, successful individuals who contribute to society. <coughs> it's going to take a lot of work to create that kind of programming, and we need a variety of different programming throughout the city to meet the different kinds of needs. Because too often what happens is we just say, well, we're going to offer this sport, and, and then kids will, it'll keep kids from being, you know, getting involved in these things. Well, some of us hate sports, you know? <laughs> that, would have, that would not have appealed to me at all as a kid. So creating programs to prevent kids from going in that direction to begin with. The, a lot of violence in particularly West Side, Linden and stuff is related to the drug trade. We need to get judges to actually you know, convict, you know, give people sentences that actually make sense for the crime that they have committed. We have a lot of people who commit crimes and they're back on the street in no time. <coughs> I'm going to take a little drink of water here. <laughs> when people commit crimes, we need to hold them accountable. That's not, that's a reasonable expectation and that hasn't happened. But most importantly is we can't arrest our way out of our public safety issues. We have got to start with prevention earlier. Children today, by the time they're in kindergarten, they are already exposed to gangs and drugs. And that is the life that they know, particularly in certain communities. So we need to intercede with our youth at a much younger age and continue to engage with them to get them on pathways that they will be successful in life and not resort to using gun violence and crime as a way of living. Uh, thank you, Nancy. Yep. That was great. Um, so we'll give an opportunity to ask. Um, I think we have about a five, six more minutes to go. But let me recap uh, as some of the special elders to benefit. I know most of you understand English, but uh, what Nancy has talked about. Um, to recap, I used to be a translator uh, <laughs> years ago, uh, about 20 years ago. I, actually, I used to be a court interpreter. So I'm um, one of the most important people in the country. And I'm very proud of you. 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 And I'm أنا أقول لهم يراهن قبل لا يمر كماستر دكتور قاطي، قلوين كدي مها يا دعانا ده هوس ورها ده مثلا أيام مدلة شقيني يتري ما لها دت كعن تدا لو دوات كوبا هنا أودي بعتي سن كوبا هنجرجار كدك دك وحالها عن تدا أي كويرت هاي أو كلا إنه هلان أديك عن توه كفلان ولا فقلة قويسس كاس دي بعتي سنة دنيرت آه سيدك عن لاسين لها أيه وحيتري مدرر وأنا كشقيني، وحن كم إذا هابي تري جودي دجان هوسات كون حبين كاها وحن أول أول إنتي ريد دقمة ده يو كيلا دو دقمة ده إنا دبولان باهدا أساسية سامين يا قيسس كدجان دجان ده سيدا غريين تو أكلا دتك هام لس كاها هدا نقطة هدا نقطة دتك عن تدا دجر جرجار كدك دك وباهن قيسس كدباب كا أي سو جاران نلاش هذا أمن جودة هالس جرني إنا وحكي قبطان جن عصية يري ركعة دات كلية هين أي إلى دقالة يجر جار أي كوكب عين كران دقالة هذا يو جن عصية يري ركعة بورتان سيدك عن لغة سين لها أي المدكش قيني يتر مركا ما دام يو ولي بدنا كتعليم تي سكول هذا يو أرمها الحريرة وحن جروا قصدا بيتري إن كل جلها شها إن أديك أنا جو استعجو ما دام أي أرم مدرر إجا جوان إن عم بلشة وهذا يجا إن يتهاي لو بهاي هاي إن قف كرتين أوله أقان أوله وأن قضاء حبين دك ماذا كتر سنة وأن قضاء وسياس أوجد بحنا ودور تيتر إن عن وأرضا حفيز كان وحالها إجا جوان إن قبتنا أو إيه منان تكوبات إيه أنا وحكم ده هاي تري وحالها أساسي جا نلاشة تيادا نلاشة بني آدم كا یو بلشده نره کلام با سامانیه کوایی آیکمی دیهی نشگا ابورکا 
arimaha amniga in la helo bulsho iyagu gacmahooda iyo aqlgooda iyo taladooda ku heli karo halka ay u baahan yihiin oo aan cid kale halka suginay inagu aan abuuran karno halka aan u baahanahay bulshada sidii loo heli lahaa inaan u istaago oo anagu aan u noqdo hormuud dadka kale oo arinkaas ka shaqeynaya sidii awoodeedii iyo kartidaadii loo heli lahaa ayaga gaan bay tirsada la socotaan dadaalka inta leeg sidii lagu heli lahaa wax qof iyo kali qaadanaya maaha doorashada ola ola heeda iyo ka qayb qaadashada laftigaada dhaqaale badan bay u baahan yihiin inaad ugu martigelisaan kulankaan gacan igu siisaan ama had aad u balaaran baan idin kaga haya muddo dheer baan la shaqeeyay xubnaha kamidka bulshada Soomaaliyeed iyo jaaliyadda xiriir wanaagsan baan la leeyahay duruufaha aad wajahaysaan oo dad badan oo bulsho idinko kala ay hore u wajahaan oo oo la mitihiin dadka degan degmada kalambasna qof aad u fahamsan baan ahay waxaan aaminsanahay bay tirin aan kartidaadi leeyahay aqoontaadi leeyahay maxaa la yiraahdaayay aqligeedina leeyahay sidi dadka lisu keen lahaayo iskaashi loo sameyn lahaa marka la idin kaga mahad celinaya inaad ugu casuunteen taageeradan hagar laanta han ugu casuunteen mar labaad maxamuud jaamacay ay tir waan u mahad celinaya iyo walaalihi kale ee magacyadoodu u sheegay gacanta ka geysay si gaar ah waxaan ugu mahad celinaya bay tir odayaasha wax garadka iyo caaqilinta waan garanaya bay tir dhaqanka bulshada Soomaaliyeed aad baan u jeclahay inaan wax badan oo kalena ka sii barto xiriir la lahaado ma hadda si gabar idin soo joodisay waqtigina waxa ka haray 3 daqiiqadood marka inaga xurmaynayna taas waxaan comments ma qaadi karno waqti uma haynno waxaan u qaadi karnaa haday jirto een laba su'aalood kaliya qaadi karnaa haday jiraan qof la su'aal qaba su'aashi uu asuldan kaysa weydiye arimaha amniga ku salaysnaa jawaabteedi waad maqlaysan waxay tir iskaashi umba looga bixi karaa su'aashuna waxay ahayd arimaha amniga la xariira dalin yarada iyo waalidiinta iyo ay ka cabanayaan maxay tahay halka aad haysid maxaan ka qabanaya jawaabteedina qudbadeed horana way ku jirtay waxayna ku soo qatintay in ay in loo marayo iskaashi iyo wada shaqeyn iyo in mudnaanta koobaad la siiyo waxyaabaha tayada bini'aadamka nolosha saameynaya waxaana kamid ah tayada nolosha waxa saameynaya waa inaad hu haysan guri aad ku hayta haysan amnigaaga halis ku jiro iyo adeeg cunto oo kugu filan ama caafimaad aan access u lahayn oo aan haysan kabar qodbadeed intaas ku joo joodisay waxaan jeclaan lahaa marka aniga maadaama igu casuumay qoladiki marti geliyay in hadeen jiray waxba su'aal ah kabar aad u mahad celino kadibna aan fasaxan hadee laakiin duruuf qasbay sa jirto qof hal su'aal iyo qaba waan 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 entertain garan karnaa inaan ka jawaabno waa maasintii